Hello, everyone, and hello again to uh, those who I already said hello to on a short Facebook Live about 10 or 15 minutes ago. Well done to the team in Juma for getting everything up and running. And I hope Mike in Florida is watching because during the Facebook Live, he did ask for us to try to find some new birds for him. And this could well be one of them. Now, they do occur in South Africa, quite widely spread, but not in the Sabi Sands around Juma. And it is called a black-shouldered kite. It's quite a small aerial raptor. And it's got the incredible ability to hover for long periods of time as it tries to locate its small prey before it plummets out the sky to grab onto it. Usually insects, small rodents, small reptiles. It's a very small bird, about, I'd say, 20 centimeters to 25 centimeters from top to tail. And I'm sure a little bit later, once it has warmed up and it becomes easier for the birds to ride the hot air thermals, it will start doing its hunting. And hopefully it won't take us too long to be able to show you them hovering. It's one of my favorite things to watch. And I find it absolutely incredible how they manage to negotiate with the winds, keeping their head dead still as it focuses on trying to try and find them prey. But for now, it's just preening itself, getting ready for a day ahead, and probably also enjoying the warm sunlight on it after a cold Masai Mara night. Very good. So for those of you who have not met me, my name is Scott. I'm teamed up with Fergus on camera, and we've been having a wonderful morning exploring some new roads that I've yet to traverse in the Masai Mara. We're not too far from camp, probably about four or five kilometers as the crow flies off to our left. And what I love about some of these little two tracks is that they're not too busy at the moment. So if we were lucky enough to find some animals here, we would have the joy of having the sighting all to ourselves. Just like we are going to be able to enjoy this small family of topi. Of which there looks to be three adults and one youngster. I just love the way they stand so proud. They remind me of an antelope called a blessbuck that you get in South Africa. They stand very proud and have got very good posture. And something interesting about these animals that I didn't know about and I'm quite happy to share with you is that yesterday I'm told that some of these animals actually did a crossing. Not too far from where I was snooping around, for those of you who were with us on yesterday's morning safari. And they, along with the herd of zebra, did a river crossing from the, west, uh, the eastern side of the Mara Reserve onto this side of the Mara, the Triangle. Four of which got killed by a lion in short succession, and one zebra got killed, I'm told, a huge stallion by some crocodiles. It took them 20 minutes to actually subdue that big stallion. And he interestingly put up a very big fight, I'm told, biting the crocodiles, trying his best to defend himself, but... Unfortunate, but the main points of that whole little story is that I didn't know that topis got involved in the river crossings. I've only ever seen footage of wildebeest, Thompson's gazelle, and zebra getting involved in that. Oh, morning. I love the way they can put one ear forward and one ear backward, listening to two different areas at once as he chews the cud. Nancy, you love the way they are just chilling out on this termite mound, and it's very typical behavior for these topi. They love being a little bit elevated, and rightfully so, surrounded by a sea of grass, these little termite mounds create an island of safety and a great vantage point to keep an eye on any possible pr predators that could be approaching. It's a very typical scene of the Masai Mara to just see one lone topi standing tall on a termite mound in a sea of grass, although here at least there's a family keeping one another company. Good, good.
Now, what I'm thinking of trying to do is work our way back to an area where the Angama Pride spends a lot of time and see if we don't have any luck in getting some visuals of those cute little cubs. I personally haven't actually spent too much time with that pride, so looking forward to trying to remedy that and get to know them a little bit better. Jamie's kind of been focusing on them. Okay, well, I'm told Taylor did have a bird she wanted to show you, but it fluttered off. But she would still like you to jump on her vehicle. So off you go.